This video will discuss the temperature dependence of entropy. So we'll start off by looking at the internal energy change that occurs during some small perturbation to our state. So du, some infinitesimal change in the internal energy, equals dq rev plus w, dw rev, equals a small change in the, or a small amount of heat in a reversible process, plus a small amount of work in a reversible process. We have from our previous definitions now that in a reversible process, dq rev equals T times the change in entropy, because ds is defined as dq rev over T for a reversible process. So dq rev equals T ds. And also from our videos on work, we know that dw rev is equal to minus PdV minus the pressure times the change in the volume of the system. That's the mechanical pressure volume work that the system is doing. So the change to our internal energy during some uh, small perturbation to our state, du, is equal to TDS minus PdV. So this type of structure here it seems to imply that our internal energy is a function of entropy and volume. And indeed, in future videos, we'll look at what are called natural variables. And entropy and volume are the natural variables of internal energy because it's natural to express the internal energy as a function of S and V since it naturally behaves this way with these uh, exact differentials of S and V. But instead, let's say, what if we express or try to express the change in the internal energy as a function of temperature and volume? So then we'd have du equals the partial derivative of u with respect to t at constant volume times dt, the change in temperature, plus du dv, partial derivative with respect to volume at constant temperature times dv, the change in volume, the standard total differential formula for a multivariable uh, function from calculus three. So we could rearrange this type of equation here where we have ds there and du, solve this for uh, ds and then substitute in uh, these kinds of expressions. We have ds equals one over t times du plus p over t times dv, showing here that we can express entropy as a function of internal energy and volume. So substituting in this expression for du down here, we have ds equals one over t times the quantity du dt times dt plus du dv times dv plus the leftover part p over t times dv. Okay, so we have an extra volume term now, but still just one temperature term. And then we can factor out those terms. We have ds equals one over t du dt times dt plus one over t times the pressure plus du dv at constant temperature times the change in volume. So here you see S expressed as a function of temperature and volume. So what we're interested in here is what is the temperature dependence of entropy. And this is going to allow us to start getting at what is the absolute value of entropy from a macroscopic perspective. We've had a few videos where we looked at what entropy is from a microscopic perspective, but we're gonna look at it now from classical thermodynamics and see what our entropy is from our macro perspective. Okay, so we can substitute in uh, for this du dt at, at constant V. That is the constant volume heat capacity, CV, partial derivative of internal energy with respect to temperature at constant volume. So we substitute that in, we get ds equals CV of T over T times DT plus one over T times P plus DU DV all times DV. All right, so now that we are expressing S as a function of temperature and volume here, we can also say that DS equals DS DT times DT plus DS DV times DV. And notice that the correspondence between these two equations here is the, that each of these partial derivatives is matched by these terms that I have in brackets there. So the partial derivative of entropy of a system at, with respect to temperature at constant volume is equal to the constant volume heat capacity divided by the temperature. So that's a nice straightforward arrangement for how S changes with respect to temperature. 
And similarly, the entropy change with respect to volume, partial derivative of S with respect to V at constant temperature is equal to one over T times the pressure plus the partial derivative of the internal energy with respect to volume. So note when we computed the entropy change during expansion and compression of an ideal gas, uh, this would need to be isothermal because we're keeping the T constant. But for that case, what do we have? We have the pressure of an ideal gas is nRT over V, and we divide by a 1 over T out there, so we got nR over V dV. And then the internal energy of an ideal gas doesn't change with respect to volume. A non-ideal gas or some real gas would have an internal energy change as we change the volume, but ideal gases do not. So this matches up with our equation from before in our video where we computed the uh, entropy change during the expansion or compression of an ideal gas where it was isothermal. All right, so using this expression, we know how S changes with respect to temperature. So if we have the entropy at one temperature, that means we can compute the entropy at another temperature. So delta S between two different temperatures, S being a state function that's equal to the entropy at T2 minus the entropy at T1, final minus initial, which is also equal to the integral from T1 to T2 of dS, the change in entropy, which is equal to the integral from T1 to T2 of the partial derivative of S with respect to T integrated with respect to temperature. Here we're doing this at constant volume. And this quantity here, as we saw, is the constant volume heat capacity divided by temperature. So the change in entropy as we change the temperature of our system is the integral from T1 to T2 of the constant volume heat capacity divided by the temperature integrated over temperature. So if we have some temperature range and we know the entropy at one temperature and we're keeping the volume constant during this process, if we know what the constant volume heat capacity is over this temperature range, then we can compute how the temperature changes over this range. We just substitute in the value of CV, divide by T, integrate with respect to T from T1 to T2, and there is our entropy change during that change of temperature during a constant volume process.